After Holy Mass, on Holy Thursday, March 28, 2024, our priest, Father Victor, carried our Lord in a procession of altar servers carrying lit candles. They were on their way out the church to honor the tradition of leaving the tabernacle empty and the door open. Their destination was the original church next door to place our Lord there on the altar for adoration until midnight when he would be reposed into the tabernacle there in the small chapel. Just as the procession started in the main church and passed in front of me, our Lord spoke to me and said, This is like when they took me from Gethsemane. I immediately felt his presence and quickly, without thinking, bowed down to him as low as I could. I knew immediately that he was referring to the soldiers who came to get him and take him to Pilate. We processed out the main church and turned left, heading for the original chapel next door. Outside in the air, it felt even more like Gethsemane in the candlelit procession. Here is the history of St. Mary's Church in Kingman, Arizona. You could say that it's reminiscent of the Holy Trinity because, in effect, it is three churches in one, and all three are connected, but built at different times. The original church is the oldest remaining Catholic church building in Kingman, Arizona. It was built in 1906 through 1907 from locally quarried Tuffa stone in the Mission Revival style and served as the Catholic Church until 1967. The building has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. A more modern structure replaced the original chapel in 1967 at the corner of 3rd and East Spring Streets. There was a small parking lot between the new church and the old original chapel. In 2014, the church on the corner was enlarged by building an extension in the place of the parking lot that separated the two churches that housed the altar and the pews, so that the wall behind the altar is in fact the original outside wall of the 1906 chapel. The main entrance to the church uses the steps of the church on the corner from 1967, and the area that was once filled with pews inside that 1967 church is now the vestibule of the current church. The original altar and steps are intact at the far end of the vestibule for auxiliary use and the sanctuary, altar service rooms, gift shop, quiet room for infants are within this vestibule area. The body of our main church is separated by a glass wall and glass doors.